Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. In early May of 2023, Josh from AFA was sitting passenger in a parked vehicle at a school with his two service dogs and nine-year-old daughter in the back seat. After a few moments of waiting, Officer Eldridge of the Townsend Police Department walked up to the vehicle to investigate. So the, the stupid cop wants to come over and, and talk to us. The dogs are going to freak out. <laughs> Hey, why we, whoa. you can just roll the window down. They're just going to keep barking, so I'll step out. Okay. We'll try it. What's up, man? Uh, so just everything all good? I just didn't know if you were... Are you waiting on somebody inside? Hold on, let me... Keep... Uh -uh, stay there. You waiting on somebody inside, or...? Uh, I'm just doing, doing me right now. So I'm just going to continue to do the video on the air. Right. So you're in the passenger seat. Is there somebody else in the school? Or? I don't answer questions, man. I'm detained, brother. Appreciate it, though. There's a long list of why an officer would want to check on vehicles around a school, from the smaller things like unauthorized access and traffic, to the larger mass casualty incidents like Nashville or Uvalde. However, it's important to know that if you have business at the school and are lawfully present on the grounds, any inquiry from law enforcement is still considered a consensual encounter. Any officer can start a conversation or ask questions of anyone they choose, but during a consensual encounter, such as this, you have the right to refuse to answer questions or provide information. The purpose of this questioning likely has to do with the safety of the children in attendance. But if that is the case, I am curious why the officer would approach the vehicle to speak with the occupants without checking the rear of the van to see if there was more than one occupant. In this case, it's a nine-year-old girl, which should dictate the manner in which a professional officer speaks while conducting his investigation. I'm gonna get back to them because I don't want to keep Right, man. I mean, I'm not trying to like bust your balls or anything. I'm just wondering what, what's going on. Well, I'd rather not, rather not talk about balls when I have a nine year old in the back seat that seems highly inappropriate. I actually didn't even see him. Um, yeah, it's a school, but. Yeah, no, but I, that's what I was asking if you were. Oh, well, see, the dogs are barking, so I mean, I think it's better if you like leave the car so that way. If I leave your car? Yeah. I, listen, man, I'm not. Get off on the wrong foot here. I'm just wondering like what you're doing. I, I haven't seen this car here before. But it's not. I mean, I'm not the right guy to get off the wrong foot with, man. Not, not trying to be hostile or anything, right. you know. Well, I just you know. We're do you not have, breaking do you have somebody, or... somebody who goes to the school? We're, or... we're not breaking any laws, man. So I'm not going to answer any questions. Right, you just you know you're idling at schools. So. A public space. Yeah. No, I mean. And the car hasn't been. I, and what's the idling law? How long does the car have to be idling to be? Well, dude, I'm just one. I'm just checking See, in on you here. I'm, like, I'm good. I've told you I'm good, man. Thanks. Okay. Appreciate it. All right. I mean, if, you, if you're going to be working in a school area, I wouldn't use words like balls and stuff like that. It's probably highly inappropriate. Okay. Right, yep. Instead of dealing with his embarrassment, taking the hint and leaving, the officer now looks for a reason to hem Josh up. Anything in your car I should know about? No. Anything illegal on you? On, on me? No. No. Keep in mind, you run my stuff, I'll run yours. Oh, my car right there? That's oh, your name, salary, eldridge, I'll get everything, man. Boy, your request at all. That body cam rolling, get that too. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I'm not, I'm not doing anything. I'm just having a conversation with you, man. Is there a school zone? People are asking what you're doing here. What do you think someone's doing in the school zone? I have no idea what you're doing here, man. All right, well, I'm going to let the dogs get back to not wanting you here because they they seem pretty hostile. Okay. Both service trained shepherds and mountain lions, so I don't yeah, want to get them too upset. What are you uh, What are you doing with them here? Huh? What are you doing with the dogs? Are you going on a walk or something? Or? What am I doing with yeah, my service you're... animals? Yeah. Minding my business, man. The opposite of what you're doing. All right, man. Well, All right, man. You, you have a good day. I'm All right, you sorry, too, brother. Uh, I appreciate it, man. Sorry we're not getting along here. No, just, we're, we're getting along. Just trying yeah. to make sure everything's all right. We're getting along. Everything's fine. I just don't like to answer questions. Man. Okay. Yeah, that's all good. That's my, I love my Fourth Amendment right. My first. I can see that. Right. You got a, uh, a weed of people tattoo yeah. on your forearm. Yeah, man. And another one on this forearm. Yeah. What do you, let me ask you a question. What do you hey, think the part. chances are that what I do for work is film police and I have hundreds of thousands of followers? Oh, I'm not sure. Probably like real high. Yeah. All right, man. Yeah. So I'm going to get back in the car. 
You can go back to yours. I'd appreciate it because right now you're triggering my animals. Okay. Well, I don't mean to upset your dogs, all right? All right. Thank you. I appreciate yep. it. Have, you have a good day, day, man. Yeah, Take too. care. After the incident, the officer got in his cruiser and repositioned the vehicle to have a clear line of sight on Josh and followed them on their way out. This is what happens when people get owned. They can't let it go. He's making sure that the community is safe from the person minding their own business sitting in the passenger seat of a car, not breaking any laws. He came in the wrong way. He's facing the wrong direction. The brave, brave policy officer is now stalking us. He's now pulling out behind us to follow us because he's so brave. See him back there? He's stalking us at a leisurely pace. See him all the way back there? <laughs> to be fair to Officer Eldridge, it doesn't appear that he was intending on using crude language in front of a minor, but it also appears as though he is the acting school resource officer, or that he is at least there enough to be familiar with the vehicles that are normally in this lot. Listen, man, I'm not get off on the wrong foot here. I'm just wondering like, what you're doing. I haven't seen this car here before. But it's not. I mean, I'm not the right guy to get off the wrong foot with, man. Either way, a tiny little bit of situational awareness and a dash of civility goes a long way if your occupation requires your presence at a school. Josh would later call the department to let them know about the incident. I was just calling to follow up um, with the issue with uh, Officer Eldridge uh, and see if he had taken some time and wanted to, to issue an apology or if, if I should just go the formal route and do a complaint. Um, he has. I, I did speak with him. He has uh, taken some time and uh, contemplated um, the incident that transpired and uh, he said he'd be uh, willing to absolutely speak to you and your daughter and apologize. Excellent. Then I, I, I think that's uh, very big of him and I appreciate it. Would he like to do that on the phone or would he prefer to do that in person? Well, whatever is easiest to you that you think is appropriate. Um, um, he's just in the other room. I can I can grab him, or he can meet you somewhere. Or uh, you know, you can just have him do it on the phone. Um, I don't think she'll say too much, but um, she's here listening. Okay. Oh, she's listening. Okay. Well, hold on one second. I'll get him for you. Thank you. Okay. Here he is. Thank you. Hello, Officer Eldridge, South Police Department. Hey, Officer Eldridge, I have uh, I have my little one here, so she can hear him. She's just in the back seat. Okay. Uh, does she have a does she have a name? Uh, I can call her by. Yes, her name. Can hear me right now. She can hear you. I think she's a little nervous to speak, but she's right behind me. Okay. Well, if you are in the car, um, I apologize if you overheard um, any of the conversation I was having with your dad outside the vehicle. Um, I use words that are not appropriate uh, for children of your age. So for that, I'd like to apologize to you and your father. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, Officer uh, Eldridge. As always, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I have a few big stories in the works and a possible live show starting in the coming weeks. I look forward to seeing you there. So until then, be sure to let AFA know that I sent you. Thanks for watching. If you have a video, use the submit link in the description or pinned comment. If you enjoyed this one, subscribe and hit the bell for future content and check out our other channels, Lady Lackluster and The Odd Side. Remember to like, share, and leave a comment about what you think of this interaction. It's the easiest way for you to help expose corruption and misconduct. Merchandise is available using the links below. Join the Lackluster family for just a buck if you'd like to further support the channel. Get a Lack logo next to your name, custom emotes, and early access to videos. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. All links are down below.